The majestic energy swept across the entire Ping City with the Shi clan as the center. The roofs of the various residential areas of Ping City were filled with people. What happened? I don't know. Could this energy be? The human cultivators looked in the direction of the Shi clan's residents with serious expressions. How could it be possible for Shi Tianjun? Maybe it's someone else. No matter who it is, it will be even more difficult for us humans since that person has successfully advanced to the formation arrangement realm. At the same time, they were looking at the Shi family residence. The originally silent courtyard was filled with shouts. The flames on the torches tore through the night sky. There's an assassin. Catch the assassin. Shi Tianjun stood beside the pitch black hole with a livid expression. There should have been a mineral vein filled with spiritual energy here, quietly supplying their family. But now, everything is gone. Not only was the mine gone, but even the black dragon's restriction below the mine had been broken. However, the courtyard was empty now. There was no one around. Clan master, we've searched everywhere. We didn't find anyone. Clan master, I think we've found young master Zhao. Shi Tianjun's face darkened as he coldly ordered. Where is he? Bring him over. Young master, he? The servant stammered as he knelt on the ground, not daring to answer. What happened? Does he still dare to run? The servant fell to the ground with a plop and covered his face as he cried bitterly. Young master was crippled by someone. What? Shi Tianjun's eyes widened as his mind went blank. The servant cried again, Clan master. Young master's golden core was shattered by someone with cruel methods. His internal organs are not intact. Even if he is on the verge of death, I'm afraid he doesn't have much time left. Shi Tianjun's majestic body swayed slightly, and he barely managed to stabilize himself after being supported. The elders stood in a row at the back, all of them silent. Where did this mineral vein go? Shi Tianjun slapped the fake mountain beside him, and it instantly turned into powder. The old man behind him shook his head and said, According to the current situation, the mineral vein was most likely stolen by the humans. Another person stepped forward and said, The mineral vein is so huge and protected by restrictions. How could it be stolen by humans? This is definitely strange. We rushed over when we sensed that the restriction was triggered, but this person still escaped without a trace. From the looks of it, this person's cultivation must be far above ours. When the mineral vein disappeared just now, I believe everyone felt that majestic energy. You're saying that someone absorbed all the spiritual energy in the mine and broke through to the formation arrangement realm? The person who spoke was young and looked somewhat similar to Shi Tianjun. However, in the entire Ping City, there are only a handful of humans who are at the second or third stage of the spirit transformation realm, let alone the ninth level of the spirit transformation realm who can break through to the formation arrangement realm in a short period of time. That's a fantasy. It seems like no one can come to a conclusion. Shi Tianjun's voice was very low. However, Clan Master, this matter is too strange. We really can't explain it with our knowledge. That's right. The disappearance of this mineral vein is too strange. Even if we mine with all our might, it will take more than a month to completely extract it, let alone triggering the restriction as soon as they touch the mineral vein. I'm afraid it's difficult to find anyone in the world who can do this. Don't let such a difficult person steal our family's foundation and destroy the Black Dragon's restrictions. Shi Tianjun suppressed the anger in his heart and turned around. His eyes were already dyed red. Clan master, it's just that we still need time. Time. Shi Tianjun panted heavily. Do you know what this situation means to our Shi clan? It's just that. What do you mean by just? You still have time to stay here and make all sorts of excuses. Why don't you each bring a team of people and hurry over to search? You will definitely be able to capture this person. But even if we find traces of that person, this formation arrangement cultivator. That's right. We're not his match. We still have to investigate. Report immediately if you find any clues. Don't act rashly. The elders looked at each other and agreed to the order. Shi Tianjun rushed all the way to Shi Jinlin's door. On the bed, Shi Jinlin, who was covered in blood, was still alive. The first elder took out his golden core and suspended it above his body. 
Only then did he barely manage to save his life and maintain his original form. First elder, how's Jean Lin? The first elder only shook his head and stood up from the bed. I'm afraid that even if he survives, he will only be a mortal in the future. I understand. Clan master, take care of yourself. The Shi clan still needs you. Thank you, first elder. I'll gather the other demons now. I'm afraid difficult days are coming. Shi Tianju knelt before his son's bed and lowered his head heavily. They had been tyrannical in Ping City for so many years. Their future situation would probably be incomparably miserable now that they had suddenly encountered such a calamity. First Elder, go out and order the clansmen to be extremely careful in the future. Don't cause trouble for no reason. Li Yuanqing stood at the top of a tall tower, his clothes fluttering in the night wind. Hu Juju leaned against his neck. Master, from now on, I'm afraid there will no longer be a Shi clan in Ping City. Li Yuanqing coldly looked in the direction of the Shi residence. It was brightly lit. They treated the human cultivators with such vicious methods. It's time for them to pay. After breaking the Black Dragon's restriction, the black fog that Li Yuanqing had observed lingering above the human residential area had also dissipated into thin air. The sky in Ping City became clear again. Li Yuanqing's figure slowly disappeared from the tower under the night sky as he watched figures rush out of the Shi residence. In the human residential area, many people suddenly felt the spiritual energy in their bodies begin to stir. They had never felt this way before. Their cultivation in the past was incomparably difficult. However, on this night, they did not know what happened. They clearly felt that their bodies were beginning to greedily absorb huge amounts of spiritual energy from the outside world. They didn't restrain themselves. They didn't need to restrain themselves. They let their body take all of this power greedily. The huge amount of spiritual energy absorption seemed to have formed a spiritual vortex in the sky above the human residential area, creating an extremely unstable area. Under the envelopment of this spiritual energy vortex, one cultivator after another broke through their shackles. A long howl echoed in the night sky of Ping Chung. What happened? Why did I suddenly feel like everything changed last night? Who knows? In a human tea house, many cultivators were gathered together. Although they all couldn't sleep last night, their mental states were very good. I heard that it was Hu Jiujio who was captured by the Shi clan. Is it that beautiful fox? That's right. I heard that young master she wanted to forcefully sleep with Hu Jujio yesterday. In the end, not only was he crippled, but he also lost his family's mineral vein. What? The Shi family lost their mind? Shu, what are you doing? A cultivator holding a long sword strode in and said without any hesitation, The Shi clan is already gone. There's no need for us to be afraid of him. This is. In the future, Ping City will still be our human race's Ping City. Demon race? They should all obediently scram back to the mountains. This? Even though many people keenly smelled the great change, most of them were still afraid. After living under the rule of the Shi clan for so many years, it was too sudden to say that the Shi clan had fallen. Then is Hu Jiujio's matter true? Someone among the cultivators asked him. The person with the sword drank a cup of tea first. He felt that it wasn't enough and called out, Today is such a joyous day. Why don't you serve all the aged wine? Brother Chun, where did you get this information? That person smiled proudly and said to everyone, Do you still need to ask? Hu Juju appeared in the East City this morning. As long as the Shi clan still had some resources, they would have long captured Hu Juju and brought her back to the residence. Isn't this deduction a little rash? How is it rash? The cultivator surnamed Chun said to everyone, Yesterday, someone saw Shi Jin Lin, as well as his two bad friends, Zhang Yuga and Xiang Sanli, gathered together to scheme. But today, Zhang Yuga and Xiang Sanli both died. Is there any need to say what happened to Shi Jin Lin? There's such a thing? The Zhang and Xiang families are big families in Ping City. I also heard the news that something happened to their young masters, but I didn't dare to confirm it. It seems like everything makes sense now. Last night, a human expert must have sneaked into the Shi clan and stolen the mineral vein. Could it be that our human race is about to rise? Hemph, without the mine, those demons can't even be considered dogs. At first, 
Everyone was still nervous. After so many years of the demons abusing their power in Ping City, many people were traumatized. However, that fellow was spouting nonsense and speaking rudely about the demons. In the past, he would have been captured long ago. But now, he was still drinking wine there. Could it be that the city is going to change? In the corner of the tea house sat a man and a woman. The man noticed the shopkeeper carrying the wine jar out and also called out, Shopkeeper, pour some for me too. All right. The shopkeeper carefully walked to the man's side and looked up. This woman was so seductive. She was clearly the rumored Hu Jujio. He couldn't see anything special about the man though, but Hu Jujio had always called him master. The two of them had been sitting in the corner with their backs facing everyone, so no one noticed them. Just as everyone was chatting, a pair of guards suddenly walked in from outside. As soon as the guards arrived, everyone immediately stopped talking. Initially, they thought that Ping City was really going to change. But now, it seemed like they were thinking too much. Everyone waited nervously, thinking that the guards were here to help the demons capture people. To everyone's surprise, these guards looked around and walked in. In the end, they stood respectfully in front of Hu Jujiu. Miss Hu, the city lord wants to invite you for lunch. Hu Jujiu pursed her lips and looked at the guard. After some thought, she reluctantly replied, Since the city lord has invited me, I don't dare to refuse. Miss Hu, you're being too serious. What the city lord means is that if Miss Hu doesn't have any other arrangements, please give him the honor. Miss Hu? What Miss Hu is so respected? Isn't this? Isn't this Hu Jujiu? Oh my god, it's Hu Jujiu. She's actually here. Miss Hu, did you really enter the Shi clan alone and kill the young masters of the three great clans? Miss Hu is peerlessly beautiful. You are truly peerless. This is the rumored Miss Hu? She's much more beautiful than I imagined. After the guard captain chatted with Hu Jujiu, he turned around and warned everyone in the tea house with a solemn expression, Miss Hu is an important guest of the city lord. If anyone dares to speak rudely to Miss Hu, it will be disrespectful to the city lord. Hu Jujiu smiled from behind and looked at Li Yuanqing. Master, you don't want to give the city lord's face? You can go. My cultivation has broken through too quickly now, so I still need to stabilize my realm. Then I will go. Be polite with the city lord. Got it, master. A cultivator sitting near the two of them vaguely heard their conversation and was stunned. Master? He muttered under his breath. Under the lead of the captain, who Juju arrived at the city lord's mansion. The city lord had already prepared a banquet and had been waiting here for a long time. The people accompanying him were all his family. It's really delightful that Miss Hu is willing to give me the honor. Hu Juju was called to the upper seat. Since it's the city lord's invitation, I have no reason to refuse. Miss Hu has really gotten rid of evil for the people. The city lord suppressed the excitement in his heart. Doesn't the city lord blame me for destroying Ping City's peace? Why would I blame Miss Hu? The city lord could not hide the smile on his face. Miss, you might not know this, but the Shi clan has been tyrannical in Ping City for so many years bullying the human race until they can't even raise their heads. As the city lord spoke, a servant carried a wooden tray from behind and carefully walked up. It was unknown what was on this tray, but it was covered with a layer of red cloth. The city lord took the tray and placed it in front of Hu Jujio. A straightforward person doesn't resort to insinuations. The city lord took a deep breath and said to Hu Jujio, in order to thank Miss Hu for getting rid of the evil for the citizens of Ping City, I specially prepared this small gift in my own name to express my gratitude. Hu Juju lifted the red cloth. Underneath was a token and a title deed. City Lord, you're too polite. A mansion to pay my respects. This token represents me. Seeing this token is like seeing me. In the future, if Miss Hu encounters any trouble in Ping City, you can just show this token. Hu Juju did not refuse. She put the two items away and cupped her hands towards the City Lord. Then I will thank the city lord. Fairy whose skills are unparalleled. She can even come and go as she pleases. I'm really impressed. I'll toast you again. Hu Jujio saw that she had drunk enough and had given the city lord enough face. She immediately stood up decisively. Fairy, what's wrong? I'm not good at drinking. 
I want to go back and rest first. I'm really sorry. I accidentally let you drink two more cups. The city lord blamed himself in frustration. Since you're going back, I'll get someone to send you back. No need. I'll go back myself. Good. I hope you're satisfied with this mansion. Pretty good. Let's contact each other if there's anything else. Take care, fairy. Chinju sent Hu Juju out the door. Hu Jujio disappeared from the roof in a flash. After Hu Juju left, the city lord suddenly sobered up. He no longer looked as drunk as before. City lord. A man dressed as a guard appeared behind him. How's the investigation going? Sir, after a preliminary investigation, the strength of the human cultivators in Ping City has increased greatly overnight. There are even many people who haven't broken through in decades who have improved greatly after last night. The city lord snorted coldly and looked in the direction of the Shi clan. Those guys have reaped so many benefits over the years. It's time to spit some out. The demons have suffered a huge loss in strength this time. Should we? Don't panic. Shi Tianjun will come looking for us himself. At that time, no matter what conditions we make, he can only agree obediently. The city lord is wise. After last night's incident, the entire Ping city was in turmoil. Haven't you thought about it? Why did it have to be last night? Why did it have to be after the Shi clan's incident last night that we could successfully break through? In a small market, a man stood on the stage and raised his arms. It must be the Shi clan secretly plotting something. There's no need to mention how many years it has been. Everyone knows that they have occupied the mine and deliberately sealed us off. We will never be able to break through. These demons are evil to the core. Why are we still trying to reason with them? Let's just kill our way in and see whose fist is stronger. Brother Liu is right. This is a place where fists determine benefits. With our current strength, it's only right for us to kill our way in and take back the rights that belong to us. The human cultivators were a little timid at first, but they had observed for an afternoon. What was the scene they saw? The demons all retreated into their nests. There were also those who used to be tyrannical. Now, they were all obedient and did not dare to come out and be arrogant. That was all they saw. All of this confirmed their thoughts. The demons had suffered a huge loss in strength and no longer had the ability to trample them under their feet. The man standing on the stage received everyone's response and spoke even more enthusiastically. If not for the fact that we have been bullied for so many years, we would not have gathered here to seek justice. The man held his weapon high. Now that victory is right in front of us, if we continue to protect ourselves here, what awaits us will only be eternal oppression. I can't give up such an opportunity anymore. Take back the land that belongs to us. Seek justice. The human race had been oppressed here for so many years. Now that they had finally seen the light of dawn, they would not let this faint hope go. We have to consider if this is the only chance we have in our lives, the man said with tears flowing down his face. If I can exchange my blood for justice for the human race, then I'm willing to use my hot blood to exchange for everything I believe in. Infected by his emotions, the humans below the stage also shouted excitedly. Li Yuanqing sat far away in the pavilion and looked at the excited expressions of the people below. Master, this guy is quite interesting. Hu Jujio had returned and was sitting beside Li Yuanqing. Li Yuanqing swept his gaze towards a distant street. A figure slowly disappeared into the alley. It seems that the city lord has already reached an agreement with the humans. The person who had just left was sent by the city lord. Hu Juju said regretfully, I was thinking that the both sides could fight each other. Li Yuanqing said, In the current situation, a conflict between the two sides will only be disadvantageous to him. He will try his best to avoid a conflict between the two sides. Won't he be able to reap the benefits of the battle between the two races? Hu Juju asked in confusion. He has been operating here for so many years. He won't watch his achievements be destroyed just like that. Li Yuanqing had just finished speaking when he jumped down from the attic. At the same time, the gathered crowd had already discussed the first step of their strategy. Let's go to the Shi residence now and get them to cough up all the assets they've plundered over the years. Let's start with their family. The entire human race of Ping City will join forces and let the Shi clan cut their flesh. Go! The crowd in the square grew larger. 
The main group followed the leader to the Shi residence. They split into many branches and headed to the various demon clans. The demons had been abusing their power here for so many years. It was time for them to repay their debts. Clan master, what should we do? The Shi residence was surrounded by the human cultivators outside the door. It was a mess. Many of the elders of their clan had gone out. At this moment, the remaining strength in the clan was even weaker. In addition, the clan's mineral vein was gone, and the entire clan's protective restrictions were ineffective. If these humans really rushed in, they would not have any strength to resist. Shi Tianjun frowned as he stared outside the door, but he had no intention of speaking. Clan master, think of a way. If this situation continues, I'm afraid we won't be able to hold on. How many people are there outside? Shi Tianjun asked. It looks like a hundred people. The clansmen replied with a bitter expression. It doesn't matter. At most, they will complain outside. As long as they can't enter, our family will be safe. Everyone present was very depressed after they heard the clan master's answer. But this isn't a long-term solution, clan master. If this continues, our family will be in a state of panic all day long. What should we do? I'm afraid that even if we are unhappy, we can only live like this obediently. We've indeed done many wrong things in the past. It's expected that someone will come to collect our debt. Although Shi Tianjun was talking about what happened outside the door, he kept looking at the city lord manor absent-mindedly. In the meeting hall of the city lord manor, the elders of the few demon clans gathered and waited quietly. The current situation was no longer the same as before. In the past, they could order the city lord around, but now, they still had to rely on the city lord to resolve the problem. After waiting for a long time, the city lord finally walked in calmly from the side door. As soon as he entered, he said to them apologetically, I'm really sorry, everyone. The things in the city are a little busy today. It's fine. It's a blessing for the citizens that the city lord is diligent in government affairs. The person who spoke on behalf of the Shi clan was an elder. Although the Shi clan was in trouble, they still had a position among the demons. Ha ha ha. The city lord laughed exceptionally happily today. Elder Shi, I'm really relieved that you can understand me. We can understand your suffering, city lord. We just hope that you can understand us. Initially, Elder Shi was the one who spoke, but he could not help but speak impatiently. The smile on the city lord's face slowly disappeared, revealing a nonchalant expression. Everyone, if you let me say it, I'm sure you know what you've done in Ping City for so many years. The city lord swirled the teacup in his hand and glanced at their faces meaningfully. I'm afraid that no one here believes that these things can be resolved so easily. Seeing the city lord's smug expression, Elder she snorted coldly and said to the city lord, I think the city lord should understand. All these years, although it was us who did it, you have taken many benefits. If it's really a life and death struggle, I'm afraid no one will look good. Therefore, city lord, please think of a good way to make everyone look good. The city lord was originally very proud. But when he heard this, he became a little timid. He was right. Although he had been controlled by others for so many years, he had received many benefits. If it really came down to a life and death struggle, he would probably be captured by those people and punished together. The city lord coughed lightly and said to Elder Shi with a smile, Elder Shi has sharp eyes and is very decisive. No matter what, you can always be so calm. City lord, you should save these praises for others in the future. Elder Shi looked at the city lord unhappily and said, before I came, I always felt that you were a smart person. No matter what happens in Ping City, you can always find your position. Elder Shi is right. The city lord grabbed Elder Shi's hand. I don't have any other merits, but I'm very outstanding in balancing. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to obtain your support for so many years. Elder Shi looked at him coldly and said, Since the city lord still remembers his strengths, our negotiation will probably be much easier. But with Elder Shi's suggestion, I'm afraid this matter might not be resolved successfully. The city lord looked at Elder Shi carefully and said, To be honest, I won't have any objections if you ask me to hand over all the land I have and distribute it to everyone. Then where is the city lord's displeasure? It's just that the things you brought out are really too little. 
I'm afraid it might not satisfy everyone. This is what I'm worried about. Elder, she said to him indifferently, City Lord, we've already given you enough face by taking out so many resources. I think you know it very well. Of course I know that. It's just that. What's wrong with you now? Why haven't I seen you do so much shit before? Someone in the back said unhappily. The city lord slowly raised his head and changed his expression. He replied indifferently, You used to have something in your hands. Does the city lord think that we don't have any bargaining chips left? Not really. The city lord slowly looked down at the agreement in his hand. It's just that someone has offered a better deal than you. What is this thing? Elder she looked at the agreement in his hand, and his face instantly darkened. In that case, the city lord is determined to stand with that mob. Elder she, don't misunderstand. I didn't choose to stand with anyone. I just chose a group of people who respect me more. Elder she slowly stood up and said to the demon representatives behind him, Everyone, the city lord wants us to hand over half of our land to the humans. If you can accept it, stay. I'll take my leave first. Are you kidding? You bastard. You're revolting. Don't you know how many bastard things you've done over the years? I really want to fight to the death. Since everyone feels that this is unacceptable, please leave. The city lord said to them decisively. The guards surged in from behind. The foul-mouthed greetings of these demon elders still could not change their fate of being invited out. Not far from the city lord manor, Li Yuanqing simply instructed Hu Juju, go and tell him that if he needs anything, he can look for us. Master, why did you make me make another trip? Hu Juju pouted and complained. Don't worry, you'll benefit when you come back. Thank you, Master. I knew you were the best to little Jiu. In the Demon Clan's restaurant, the elders who had been chased out of the city Lord Manor had been invited by Elder Shi to gather here. This bastard must not die a good death. When he was our dog, he licked it cleaner than anyone else. But things are different now, aren't they? Elder she looked at the group of people in front of him indifferently. No matter what, if we join forces, we can deal with this group of humans. They're just some stragglers. There's nothing to worry about. Elder she took out a piece of agreement and placed it on the table. Since those stragglers can join forces, shouldn't we show something too? Elder she, this is... But the few major demon clans have never joined forces before. Will it be bad if we break the rules this time? Why are you still following your rules at a time like this? Those humans are about to ride on our heads and sage asterisk tea on us demons. If we follow the rules, I'm afraid there won't be a place for us demons in Ping City anymore. The Zhang family's elder was the first to express his stance. He went up and signed his name on the agreement. Seeing that someone was taking the lead, the others no longer hesitated. At this critical moment of life and death, the demons signed this alliance agreement. Elder she picked up the agreement and looked at it carefully. He looked coldly in the direction of the city lord manor and said indifferently, I wonder if our city lord will reconsider our suggestion. At the top of the deepest pavilion in the Zhang family's courtyard, several important ministers, including the clan leader, gathered together. At this moment, Everyone's expressions were solemn. Clan master, do you think we should really do as the Shi clan wants? The clan master stared grimly at the table and said nothing. The elders at the side started arguing over this matter. The Shi clan is in trouble now. It's our chance. What exactly happened to the sixth elder's family? We haven't investigated clearly yet. If we make any rash assertions now, I'm afraid we will incur revenge in the future. What are you afraid of? If their family is fine, can they tolerate those lowly humans surrounding their residence? That's right. If it were in the past, these humans would have been wiped out long ago. But now, they're still alive and well. I think there's something fishy going on. Look at the attitude of their first elder. Forgive me for being blunt, but the Shi clan is now an arrow at the end of its flight. Even if the human cultivators can't defeat them, they will obediently retreat to the second line. A young elder began to stir. In my opinion, this is the time when their family's strength is weak. If we take this opportunity to attack and directly snatch the land that their family has occupied, we might still have some treasures left. No, the clan master's voice was very steady. But clan master, now that things have come to this, if we don't make a move, other families will naturally make a move. 
We can't be indecisive at this moment. The young elders consciously gathered together. At this moment, they were all abnormally excited and advocated a radical style. The old elders gathered on the other side in silence. Although they occasionally said a few words, they knew in their hearts that in this situation, they could not stop these juniors from thinking about good things. The clan master's obstruction puzzled many young elders. They all thought that this was the opportunity for their Zhang family to become the largest family in Black Dragon Ping City. Clan master, how many years has the Shi clan occupied this place? Their huge clan has occupied this place. If we kill this black dragon, even if we only eat two mouthfuls of flesh, it will be enough to dominate Ping City. Nonsense. The clan master slapped the table and glared at them. How can you say such a thing at this moment? When the clan master was so angry, the elder immediately came out to smooth things over. Clan master, don't be angry. Ninth elder and the others are only doing this for the good of the clan. They are just a little rash. After being scolded by the clan master, the ninth elder's face was filled with grievance. Half of his arrogance from before had been extinguished. The clan master looked at them with a cold expression and instructed, These are troubled times. The human race is on the verge of rising, and we cannot panic. Although something has happened to the Shi clan, our enemy now is the human race. I hope you can remember this in your hearts. Hearing the clan master's words, the few of them sat down resentfully. If you ask me, those humans are a lowly race. They won't be able to achieve anything. Why should we give in to them? That's right. Something happened to the Shi clan. Why should we be afraid of them now that they're hiding like turtles? This matter is strange to begin with. The human race has never had such courage before. Who gave them such courage now? The clan master of the Zhang clan stared at the table and said in a deep voice, The situation is special now. Before we completely figure out their background, don't act rashly. Are we just going to sit here and do nothing? The clan master turned his head and glanced at the ninth elder unhappily. The ninth elder knew that he had said something wrong and hurriedly retracted his gaze. An old man on the other side suddenly spoke up and said unhurriedly, In my opinion, the current situation is completely in the hands of this demon fox. If we can rope this fox clan member to our side, I think our Zhang family can rest assured. Third elder is right. Hu Jiujio is an outsider. She's not bad, but she does have some ability. If we can win her over, it'll be safer. If she really stole the Shi clan's mineral vein, I'm afraid we can only start with her. On this question, both parties had reached a rare consensus. After weighing the pros and cons, the clan master finally assigned this mission. Seventh elder, Hu Jiujiu is an extremely important person. Now, we can't offend her. We should befriend her and try our best to rope her in. Yes, sir. The situation of the other demons in Ping City was also very different from the Zhang family. After weighing the pros and cons, they realized that Hu Jiujiu had become the center of attention. Not to mention what secrets Hu Jiujiu was hiding, she was definitely someone worth winning over. Li Yuanqing sat on the bench outside the door. He had heard the conversation between Little Jiu and the demon envoy. These demons were quite sincere now. All of them wanted to build a relationship with Hu Jiujiu. After all, the important resources in Hu Jiujiu's hands would probably become very important bargaining chips in the future when the human race was in chaos. The demons were unwilling to give up this opportunity. This was the sixth wave of guests he had seen today. Miss Hu, you're too kind. It's our Zhang family's honor to be able to befriend you. The seventh elder of the Zhang family walked out of the room and smiled happily. Hu Jiujiu swung her enchanting figure and walked out of the door leisurely. Her bright eyes glanced at Li Yuanqing. Seventh elder, you're too polite. You're an elder, and I'm just a junior. What right do I have to receive such a huge favor from you? Now that Miss Hu is an honored guest of our families, I naturally have to be more polite. I don't dare to anger Miss Hu. Then Seventh Elder, I'm going to be angry. Ha ha ha. The Seventh Elder raised his head and laughed. Miss Hu is really funny. Miss Hu, don't forget about the appointment you made just now. Seventh Elder, don't worry. Let me know when your banquet is almost ready. I'll be there. Then I'll thank Miss Hu for your favor. After the Seventh Elder bade farewell repeatedly, he left the residence in satisfaction. Master. Don't you think they're behind this? 
Why are they suddenly willing to accept us? Hujujio took graceful steps and swayed her body like a gust of wind into Li Yuanqing's arms. Li Yuanqing's face was expressionless as he picked up his teacup and drank his tea mechanically. There's someone else behind this. I'm afraid they might not know either. Master, do you mean that the black fog lingering on the heads of the human cultivators was done by someone else? Hujujio pursed her lips in displeasure. I thought this matter was over. It seems like I've just touched on something. Li Yuanqing instructed her. If we want to find out the truth behind this, these demon clans can still be of use now. Make friends with them. Master, don't worry. Little Ju is the best at this. Hu Juju picked up Li Yuanqing's teacup and finished the cold tea before pouring a new cup of hot tea. Today, while the two of them were talking, there was a knock on the door. Hu Juju looked back at Li Yuanqing gloomily. Here we go again. However, what Hu Juju had expected was that this time, it was a team of guards. The guard captain looked at Hu Juju respectfully and asked about the situation. Miss Hu, the seventh elder of the Zhang family came out from your place just now, right? Hu Juju leaned against the doorframe. Just by standing there, she exuded a seductive aura. Why, you don't want to know how long he's been with me, do you? The guard captain coughed lightly and stopped his inner thoughts. He asked seriously, I'm afraid miss who really has to say it. What's wrong? Seventh Elder came to talk to me about something. Could it be that you guys have to interfere? We didn't want to interfere at first, but now that Seventh Elder was killed in a small alley facing the street, we have no choice but to understand the situation. Killed by whom? If we investigate thoroughly, we won't disturb Miss Hu anymore. The guard captain looked at Hu Jujio and knew that she did not know what was going on, so he did not ask further. Since Miss Hu doesn't know, I'll take my leave first. However, the city lord instructed me to greet Miss Hu. Greet me? Hu Jujio was dumbfounded. The guard captain looked at her meaningfully. Finally, he bowed respectfully and left. Clan master, I've long said that this Hu Jujio is the source of chaos. Our family has lost another general now that the seventh elder has lost his life for no reason. In the Zhang family's conference hall, the atmosphere was very solemn. Just yesterday, he thought that the negotiation between the seventh elder and Hu Jujia would go smoothly. In the end, the seventh elder was found dead in the alley. If that was all, it would not be enough for them to push all the blame to Hu Jujia. Most importantly, after contacting the other families, they discovered that everyone who had interacted with Hu Jujio had all died without exception. The clan master's face was ashen. Even if he wanted to maintain the stability in front of him, he could not say anything to win Hu Jujio over. The ninth elder propped himself on the table indignantly and looked at the clan master with red eyes. Clan master, you can't hesitate anymore. How can this matter be so strange? If we continue to endure like this, wouldn't we lose all our face? At this moment, the clan master was feeling troubled. He looked at the elders and asked, What do you think? The third elder looked at the clan master and replied, How can Hu Jujio kill so many people in one night? The time of their deaths is very close, so in my opinion, I'm afraid there's someone else behind this. Third elder, what do you mean? City lord. It must be the city lord. Ninth elder shouted at the top of his lungs. That bastard has been thinking of holding all the power in Ping City ever since the Shi clan couldn't do it. Now, we have even become his eyesore. Although the Ninth Elder usually had a bad temper, there was nothing wrong with what he said at this moment. Everyone present knew that this was probably the most reasonable explanation. At this moment, someone returned from outside and reported, Clan Master, the City Lord has just conferred a title to Hu Jujio and rewarded her with many fiefs and treasures. This action undoubtedly confirmed the suspicion that there was a deal between them. Even though this was the last thing the Zhang family's clan master wanted to see, it seemed like they had no choice but to face this situation. In Hu Jujio's courtyard, Hu Jujio was stunned when she saw the pile of treasures that had appeared out of thin air. Master, you're really amazing. Why did you kill all those people? Didn't you say yesterday that you wanted to befriend them as much as possible? I didn't kill them. Li Yuanqing's answer was very simple, but it was very powerful. Then who did it? But now it seems that the city lord seems to have pushed all these things to me. Hu Jujio calculated and said in horror, 
Could it be that he did it? If he pushed this matter to me, he would be clean. Li Yuanqing shook his head firmly and said, No, if the city lord had such ability, he wouldn't have to suffer here for so many years. That's true, but who could have done it? Who else in Ping City is so capable? Li Yuanqing narrowed his eyes and looked at the flower bed in the small courtyard. Looks like the person behind the scenes can't wait anymore. Master, what do you think his motive was for doing such a thing? It has the intention to sow discord between the city lord and the demons. If these two forces were to clash normally, they would fall into chaos. At that time, they can establish a new order. Li Yuanqing carefully sensed it. Although the black fog had converged a lot over the past two days, Li Yuanqing could sense that they had not really disappeared. It was just that they had been restrained. Hu Juju leaned on the table with a bored expression and complained, I thought this matter was over. I didn't expect it to be so troublesome. All right, stop thinking about it. Let's continue investigating. Li Yuanqing patted Hu Jujio's head gently. They don't know our background now, so they don't want to have a conflict with us for the time being. But if we leave, Ping City will return to how it was before. All right, where do we start? It's still the Demon Judgment Division. Ever since he went there last time, Li Yuanqing had sensed that there was an extraordinary place there. However, he was discovered halfway through his investigation last time. Initially, Li Yuanqing thought that the Shi clan's vitality would be greatly damaged and this power would weaken. However, it seemed that this power still existed and wanted to continue. Li Yuanqing would not leave this route here. Master, what about the city lord and the demons? Are we going to let them fall into a trap and argue with each other? It doesn't matter. Let them be. It'll be easier for us to investigate if the people behind this think we've fallen into a trap. Demon Punishment Division? That place is very boring. Miss Hu, do you really want to go? The city lord politely took out his precious tea to serve Hu Juju. Hu Juju replied, I just find this place very interesting, and I can learn a lot of rules here. Why? Does the city lord not want me to go? How could that be? The city lord smiled and said, I agree to wherever Miss Hu wants to go. I'm just worried that Miss Hu won't be able to stay there. After all, that's not a good place. It's indeed not suitable for such a delicate lady to stay there. There's no need to worry about that, city lord. You just have to answer me whether you can arrange it. The city lord smiled, raised the teacup in his hand, and drank it in one gulp. He showed the bottom of the teacup to Hu Jujio and said with a bright smile, Miss Hu, you've just helped me so much. I was just thinking of a way to thank you. Miss Hu, your small request is naturally very reasonable. Thank you, city lord. The city lord called the guard in and took out a demon judgment division position book. After searching for a while, he instructed, bring Miss Hu a management token. Yes, sir. Two hours later, Hu Jujio and Li Yuanqing appeared at the entrance of the demon judgment division. Stop right there. Who are you people? The guard at the door stopped them as usual. Hu Jujio took out the token with a cold expression and scanned it in front of them. So it's the manager. Sorry for the disrespect. Just get out of the way. Manager, please come in. Hu Jujio had just walked in when Li Yuanqing was stopped. He is my servant. What are you doing? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't notice him with you. Cut the crap. Just guard the door obediently. Why are you so troublesome? I'm sorry, my lord. Please calm down. All right, stop talking nonsense. Please come in. After the incident with the Shi clan, the search for him in Ping City was much less intense than before. However, after Li Yuanqing entered the Demon Judgment Hall, he could clearly sense a very sinister power lingering here. Li Yuanqing was much more generous this time. He did not have to secretly release his vines to investigate like before. He and Hu Juju briefly checked the upper three levels of the Demon Punishment Division. There was nothing special about the top three floors. Li Yuanqing only left some flying ants behind to hide and observe quietly. The five floors below were exactly the same as before. At this point, he could only feel that this place was abnormally clean. He could not sense any murderous aura. He did not know where the murderous aura had gone. There were many human cultivators locked up here, and many of them had served here. However, the faces of these human cultivators who were serving here were all gloomy. Their foreheads were black. 
and there seemed to be a ball of death aura lingering above their heads. All of them seemed to be suffocated by this black fog, and their faces were sallow. They could barely survive, let alone increase their cultivation. Everyone who served here was silent and did not have much to say to each other. They only worked to carry out missions and deal with corpses. The two of them walked all the way down. When they reached the third level, two people suddenly walked over and carried a corpse out. Please wait a moment. Li Yuanqing stopped the two of them. The two of them were originally a little unhappy, but when they saw Hu Jujia walking in front of Li Yuanqing, they stood on the spot obediently. Li Yuanqing lifted the shroud. This person had died a rather miserable death. His eyes were wide open, his fingers were bent and stiff, and his mouth was wide open, as if he had experienced something very painful before he died. Moreover, this person's body was dry, as if his vitality had been sucked in. However, the strange thing was that his body was very clean without a trace of black fog. What exactly was that baleful aura? Why did it disappear after someone died? Li Yuanqing's heart was shrouded in layers of fog. He was anxious to figure out these questions. However, if he wanted to continue investigating, he would have to go down there. Did Master discover anything? Hu Juju asked Li Yuanqing softly, while there was no one else around. Li Yuanqing was carefully setting up the traps in the execution elements. There were more than he had imagined, so he had to be more prepared. No leads yet, but they'll give themselves away eventually. Ayo, what a beautiful girl. The two demon cultivators leaned towards Hu Juju. Girl, why don't you have a meal with me? Get lost. Hu Juju replied coldly. Ayo, you have such a bad temper, but I like girls with such a bad temper like you. What should I do? This person became even more arrogant when he saw that there was only one human cultivator beside Hu Jujio. Although Hu Jujio's cultivation level seemed to be quite high, she had the disadvantage of fighting two against one. This is a new manager arranged by the city lord himself. We'll be colleagues in the future. Don't cause trouble. A plain-looking demon reminded the two of them. The two of them glared at him impatiently and warned, Why are you talking so much nonsense? Why are you interfering in everything? Get lost. This is a new colleague. If you guys go against her, you're going against the city lord. What nonsense are you talking about? Who's going against my new colleague? The demon looked at Hu Jujio with a lecherous smile. I just want to have a deep conversation with my new colleague. This way, the two of us will be family in the future. Then, the city lord and I will be family. What do you mean by that? His companion caught the implication in his words. I don't mean anything by it. You're overthinking it. That's true. Such a beautiful girl is so close to the city lord. The city lord even gave her a house and a token and rewarded her with land. Now, she's even arranged a management position. It would be unreasonable if she didn't have any connections. Ha ha ha, just thinking about such a beautiful girl's enchanting figure on the city lord's bed makes me impatient. The frivolity in their words made Hu Jujio feel disgusted. She glanced at Li Yuanqing, who leaned against the wall noncommittally, preparing to watch the show. Hu Jujio understood what this meant. Suddenly, a smile bloomed on Hu Jujio's face. The two of them were overjoyed. The two of them took another step forward, only a fist away from Hu Jujio. I knew it. Who doesn't know about your matters? Let us brothers have a good time. We'll keep your relationship with the city lord a secret. The demon wiped his saliva with a lecherous smile. Why don't we tell everyone about you? Everyone in the demon judgment division will dream about how you climbed into the city lord's bed. Ha ha ha, I like your words too much. I think about it every day. The two of them echoed each other and had already cornered Hu Jujio. It looked like Hu Jujio was facing a crisis and had nowhere to escape. The demon who wanted to stand out just now, could only pretend not to see it after being warned by the two of them. He sighed and turned around to leave. After that person left, Li Yuanqing suddenly spoke. Before you die, I have two questions I want to ask. Originally, this atmosphere had already been hyped up. The two brothers were burning with desire and felt uncomfortable all over. In the end, they were suddenly interrupted by a human. Where did this lowly human come from? Why are you here? Can't you see that we're busy with business? Get lost. Still watching here? Is this a place you can stay? Li Wanqing Nudda
It seems like the two of you don't plan to tell me now. He said strange things that made no sense. Leave a breath later. Sure thing. Hujiojo's charming voice had already circled around their ears a few times. The two of them seemed to be filled with electricity as their bodies trembled violently. Little beauty, you can make people fall head over heels for you just by saying a few words. If you moan, we will definitely reach the immortal realm. Big brother, let me go first. Get lost. I'm very fast. I won't forget you. You two should come together. Hujujio hooked two slender fingers at the two of them. Yo, little girl, you have such a fetish? The two of them licked their lips and pulled open their clothes, revealing their half-beast chests that were not completely done with their transformation. Spare me, fairy. The two demons who were in high spirits just a moment ago were now lying weakly on the ground. Their chests had long been cut open by Hujujio's claws. If they weren't lying flat on the ground, their stomachs would have bled. The man-eating vine waited quietly at the side. Its head tilted like a poisonous snake. I'll ask again. Do you really not know what's under the fifth underground floor? Sir, we really don't know anything. The two demons were pale and weak. They really only had one breath left. Then you guys are useless. As soon as Li Yuanqing finished speaking, pain suddenly wrapped around them. In almost an instant, their bodies were wrapped into two dumplings. A moment later, there was only a pile of bones left on the ground. Even the blood had been sucked clean. Stay here for the next few days and cultivate on your own. Wait for my orders. After eating its fill, the man-eating vine listened to Li Yuanqing's instructions and obediently hid. It burrowed into the ground and disappeared. After staying here for a few days, Li Yuanqing realized that the people here often died suddenly without any warning. Although this was very common, no one had ever mentioned it because the ones who died were all humans. The human race was the worthless one here. No one cared about the life and death of the human race, so no one cared about this matter. It didn't matter if the captured humans died. It didn't matter if the humans who were doing chores here died and were replaced. Li Yuanqing also vaguely felt that after staying here for a few days, his body was gradually enveloped by an extremely cold, murderous aura. After coming into contact with his body a few times, the baneful aura was expelled. After several attempts, it suddenly seemed to have forgotten about him and did not come again that morning. Li Yuanqing was arranged to stay in the human dormitory with three other people. These three people were no different from the other human cultivators he had observed. All of them were listless and dispirited. And that morning, something shocking happened. Ah! Li Yuanqing had just returned from a stroll when he heard one of his roommate's trembling voice. He hurriedly ran into the house. When the living person saw Li Yuanqing, he extended a warm finger and pointed at his roommate who was twitching on the bed. Dead dead. He had personally witnessed the entire process of his roommate's death. Everyone had lived in such a dark environment for so long. But when they saw such an incomparably terrifying scene, they were still terrified. Li Yuanqing took a step forward to the bed and pressed a hand on the person. He lay on the bed, his body trembling violently for no reason. His eyes were wide open and bloodshot. His arm was as stiff as wood. Li Yuanqing injected his spiritual power into his body to control his condition. However, his death was inevitable. What his body lacked was not spiritual power but vitality that had already disappeared. Under Li Yuanqing's gaze, it was as if the last bit of strength in his body had been sucked away. The trembling of his body gradually weakened until it calmed down. That terrified face was imprinted in their eyes. Li Yuanqing saw the black fog circling above his head. It was like a ferocious beast that had eaten its fill. After trembling in satisfaction, it suddenly left and seeped into the wall. He's dead. His roommate ran out in fear, leaving Li Yuanqing alone in the room. Li Yuanqing carefully checked his body and found that there was not even a trace of murderous aura on him. This murderous aura had been pestering him for so long, but it disappeared after he died. No one knew where it went. Master, what happened? Hu Jujio saw that the person had run out in a panic and immediately rushed over. Li Yuanqing shook his head slightly. Another one dead? Call someone over to clean it up? How did this happen? Why is he so clean? Where's the baleful aura? Where did it all go? Li Yuanqing looked down at his feet. 
It went to where it came from. After a while, two humans walked in with a stretcher with cold expressions. A demon behind the two of them urged unhappily, Hurry up. It's really disgusting that people die every day. Troublesome. Seeing that the two of them were a little slow in collecting the corpse, the demon even swung his whip at them. I did give you some food, didn't I? Are you all so lazy? Why are you guys so slow when it comes to collecting corpses? I wonder why they recruited a bunch of trash. As he spoke, his gaze landed on Li Yuanqing. Captain, many things have happened to our brothers these past few days. The Human Resources Management Department of the Demon Race in the Demon Punishment Division. A small man with long ears and a short nose stood respectfully in front of a muscular man. The man bent over the table and looked at the personnel records. He had recorded more than 10 deaths of the human race in just 10 days. However, the man was not concerned about the dozen or so deaths of the humans. Instead, he kept looking at the two pieces of paper from the demons with a frown. Those humans were lowly to begin with. If they died, then so be it. However, Many of the brothers in the demon race had mysteriously disappeared over the past few days. They had disappeared without any warning. It was impossible for them to have left on their own. That was probably the only explanation. Don't worry about it. Don't publicize this matter. The man carefully placed the two lists in the book. As for the dozen or so human lists, he casually threw them aside. The short man waiting below carefully raised his head and looked at the man. Supervisor. Some of the brothers seem to have sensed that the people in the department have been in a panic these past few days. If we don't give an explanation, I'm afraid that the brothers... The man pondered for a moment and instructed the people below. Go down and watch carefully. Anyone who knows about this, get them to come and see me. Supervisor this? That's not for you to ask. Just mind your own business. Understand? Although the little demon was still afraid, it did not dare to ask further. There were some secrets hidden in the Demon Judgment Division. Others might not know, but he had some connections. For some reason, so many humans died every day because of the person hiding below. However, this matter was suppressed by the supervisor. As for what secrets were hidden below, he did not dare to ask. Li Yuanqing sat cross-legged on the bed. The night sky scattered beside the bed, revealing a bright floor tile. A light suddenly flashed in the room and a pretty little girl suddenly appeared from the bright tiles. The little girl playfully ran up to Li Yuanqing and wrapped herself around him skillfully. Since you've already transformed, you have to be human. Sit down properly. Although Li Yuanqing's voice was not loud, the little girl listened carefully. She carefully got off Li Yuanqing and sat at the side obediently. It's your fate to have such an opportunity. Cultivate well in the future. The little girl stammered and said to Li Yuanqing in a choppy voice, Thank you, master. This little girl was pretty and slender. She was none other than Li Yuanqing's man-eating vine. During this period of time, it had devoured many demon cultivators in the demon judgment division. The man-eating vine suddenly seized an opportunity and successfully transformed. Li Yuanqing casually took out a bottle of pills and patted the little head of the man-eating vine. He instructed, I heard that something happened to the demons these few days. Take the flying ants and go out to check the situation. Keep an eye on the She-Clan and see if they have any movements. As you say, master. As the little girl spoke, she suddenly jumped onto the window. She looked around mischievously for a while before climbing up the wall and leaving. At the same time, the atmosphere in the City Lord Manor was somewhat oppressive. City Lord, we've found the person who killed Fourth Brother. The guard captain knelt below with a dark expression. The city lord was wearing casual clothes and holding a glass of wine in his hand. His long hair was draped behind him. Who did it? The city lord asked calmly. During this period of time, the city lord had been in the limelight. In the past, he was completely a puppet here. However, now that the Shi clan had fallen, he had truly grasped power. The guard captain's eyes were red. This fourth brother had been nurtured by him for so many years, but he was discovered to have been cruelly killed in the city lord manor. This meant that the culprit simply did not care about the city lord at all. It's the she clan, they did it. The guard captain gritted his teeth so hard that they almost shattered. Are you sure? The city lord seemed a little surprised by this answer. 
The Shi clan was already in such a state. How could they still be in the mood to sneak around and kill people? Shouldn't their family be obediently hiding in his turtle shell and taking care of themselves? How dare they come out and cause trouble? The guard captain looked up at the city lord, the hatred in his eyes already seeping through. They did it. That person is from the Shi clan. It's true. The guard captain shouted behind him. Immediately, a few people carefully carried the corpse up. After the corpse died for a while, it gradually returned to its original form. Half of its huge black snake tail fell behind. When the city lord saw this, he was in a daze for a moment. He slammed the wine glass in his hand on the ground. He never expected that the Shi clan would still have the guts to go against him. Bastard! The city lord stared at the guard captain kneeling below with a livid expression. Bastard! You've been arrogant for so many years. It seems like you can't settle down at all. City lord, Shi Tianjun doesn't take you seriously at all. Now that he dares to kill Little Four, I'm afraid we don't know who he will attack next time. Not to mention Little Four, even if it's just our ordinary brothers, we can't tolerate his viciousness. The city lord waved his hand and stood up from the main seat. He pushed open the door in a hurry. Outside the door, a group of guards was already waiting respectfully. The Shi clan has been committing crimes in Ping City for more than a hundred years. They have caused trouble in one area and harmed Ping City. The city lord stood among the guards and spoke to them loudly. I have long wanted to get rid of such a disaster for the people. However, the Shi clan is powerful and has a huge restriction. Now that the Shi clan's restriction has been eliminated, it is a good opportunity for us to get rid of the disaster for the people. The city lord manor was brightly lit. The entire attic was filled with guards. There were more than a thousand of them. Even the city lord had specially sent the human inspectors over to wait carefully outside the city lord manor. Zhao Tian was naturally among them. Captain, what are you doing? Although their status was slightly higher now, they were not considered the core subordinates of the city lord. They could only wait outside. I heard that someone from the Shi clan killed the city lord's subordinate. I'm afraid the city lord is going to be serious this time. This Shi clan really doesn't know what's good for them. They did all sorts of bad things in the past. They don't hide in their own home, but come out to cause trouble now that their family has declined. The human cultivators discussed carefully outside. They could only listen to the faint sounds to determine what the city lord wanted them to do. Isn't that so? They should have just hid in their house and no one cared about them. However, that group of people were used to being the local tyrants. They were naturally unhappy when they became prisoners all of a sudden. Who cares? But there's bound to be a fierce battle tonight. We have to be careful. Nothing can happen. Zhao Tian gathered his brothers together and formed a circle. He said to his brothers with a serious expression, If we really fight later, try your best to gather together and help each other. We can't let anything happen to any of us. Big brother, don't worry. When the time comes, everyone will take care of each other. Don't worry, Captain. We'll remember it. The man-eating vine stuck to the shadow of the wall, as if it was one with the shadow. If one did not look closely, it would be difficult to notice that there was such a beautiful girl lying on the dark side of the wall. The flying ants carefully flew past from a low altitude. They saw a pair of people hurriedly run over and approached the center of the Shi clan. It was a small courtyard. In the past, it was where their family's mineral vein was located. It was a forbidden area. However, after the mineral vein was lost, this small courtyard was no longer a forbidden area. Instead, it had become a place where their families gathered. Now, hundreds of people were gathered here, looking at Shi Tianjun with solemn expressions. The torch crackled as it burned. The man-eating vine carefully crept into the courtyard and hid in the darkness, secretly observing. Clan master, we're innocent. Black Panther has just broken through to the third grade Grotto Heaven Realm. How can he sneak into the city lord manor to kill a seventh grade Grotto Heaven cultivator? The ninth elder looked at Shi Tianjun anxiously. Black Panther was his subordinate. Now that something like this had happened, he would probably not be able to escape responsibility. However, no matter what, Black Panther was just a third grade Grotto Heaven Realm brat. How could he kill such an expert? Shi Tianjun stood on the stage with a solemn expression. No matter what, things had already come to this point. It would not make sense to reason with the city lord. 
The reality was that the city lord's people were dead and their family members had been discovered. It was such a simple matter. Even if they had all kinds of excuses, the city lord would not listen to them now. Have you confirmed the movements of the city lord? The second elder stood at the side with a solemn expression and said softly, According to the news from our people, the city lord has already gathered all the people he can. I'm afraid that a fierce battle will be inevitable tonight. Hearing the second elder's words, Shi Tianjun closed his eyes in despair. Their family only wanted to obediently guard this period of time. But why was there someone who was unwilling to let them off? If they really fought, both sides would probably suffer. At that time, their Shi clan would really become fish on the chopping board. First elder, what do you think? Shi Tianjun thought that the first elder could still speak with the city lord. So he looked at the first elder and asked. At this moment, the city lord had already gathered the people. If they rashly went to negotiate, they would probably die. However, if they did not negotiate, their family would only face a situation where they would be severely injured. This was not something they wanted to see. The first elder didn't say anything else. He just slowly stood up and said to Shi Tianjun, No matter what the outcome is, please continue the Shi clan for us. We can't let our bloodline be severed in the hands of our generation. Don't worry, first elder. I'll get old nine to leave with some young juniors first. Clan master, the safety of this family is in your hands. Please be careful. The first elder said to Shi Tianjun as if he was leaving his last words. Shi Tianjun stood up and solemnly held the first elder's withered hand. We're at war. The safety of the entire clan is on your shoulders. No matter what the outcome is, the Shi clan will remember the first elder's contributions for all eternity. After the first elder finished speaking, he floated away. Shi Tianjun looked in the direction where the first elder left and sighed. The city lord was certain that their family was currently weak and unwilling to resist. That was why he dared to mobilize his troops at this moment. However, the Shi clan was not to be trifled with. If the city lord really dared to attack, he would be in trouble. Third elder, how are the other families? Clan master, I've asked around. Most of them are still willing to stand by our side. It's just that from what they say, no one has taken action yet. I'm afraid this time. These families used to be on good terms with the Shi clan. But now they couldn't wait for them to collapse. This way, Ping City would change. At that time, it was still unknown who would be the number one family. At this critical moment of life and death, it was impossible to count on them. Li Yuanqing saw everything that happened in the Shi clan through the perspective of the flying ants and the man-eating vine. Logically speaking, the Shi clan should already be at the end of their rope. However, this person's tone was still quite firm. He should still have some trump cards. Li Yuanqing was also happy to see that the demons were divided internally. It was a great thing for the human race that they fought among themselves. There was naturally no need for them to interfere. After hearing the third elder's report, Shi Tianjun's expression became even more solemn, and there was a hint of conflict on his face. He seemed to hesitate. Clan master, we should have made preparations long ago. We can't wait for the first elder to send back the news. If we wait for the first elder bitterly, we might lose the initiative. That's right. Now is not the time to hesitate. The first elder went to negotiate for the sake of the family. Our family should display enough strength at this time to make the city lord feel fear. Only then can we save the first elder's life. Clan master, please make a decision early. You can't be indecisive here. Shi Tianjun looked down at the dark cave under his feet. If it was in the past when their family still had mineral veins, there would still be the black dragon restriction. It was impossible for him to fall into such a situation. But now, they were being provoked. If they didn't do anything, they would probably die. On one side, they would sit and wait for death. On the other hand, although it was unclear, it might be their chance to survive. At this point, it seems like I can only use that method. What do you mean, clan master? Shi Tianjun suddenly shouted at the clansmen waiting quietly below. All clansmen to their posts to be on guard. Elders, follow me. After Shi Tianjun gave his orders, the clansmen below retreated to the periphery of the clan. The elders followed him and headed somewhere in the clan. 